Welcome back. We are recording. Good. Let me just, uh, oh, <laughs> you guys can see what I was just watching on YouTube. Great channel. Would recommend. I like stories. I don't think I've ever checked the extras. Ah, bestiary. Music player gallery. Gallery? Oh, cool, there's art here. Uh, we'll check all of this at the end of the game, I think. I don't want to look too hard at it. Just yet. <clears throat> cool, let's... Uh, uh, yeah. Right. It's about... Hour, hour, two hours later. Let's, I guess, head off to, to west. Yeah, we now have a canal there, so we can sail through. Hmm. And uh, let's check out uh, these places. There's probably a dock there. Not sure if there's anywhere else. Sure. Oh, <laughs> of course. Uh, different, yeah. <clears throat> it only makes sense that as soon as we leave the <laughs> cave and go to the overworld, we'd get attacked. Obviously. <clears throat> oh yeah, we have the yellow sword. Love it. Deal some extra damage to wolves. And depending on the enemy, we will switch the rune sword. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's hope. <clears throat> mm, nice. Okay. Good. 205. 171. Eden still deals, deals more damage, even though Saren has the Beast Sword. Cool. Okay. Ah. Sure. In case we don't one-shot both of them. Ooh, nice. That was a... I think that was an extra crit because of the weapon, maybe. Not sure. It sure felt like it. Um, right, there's a small island here. Maybe it's better to use this map. Yeah, let's head for that port, I guess. Ooh, a town. <laughs> the final possible spot. Uh, let's see if we can just flee. I don't want to do multiple rounds of combat. <clears throat> against the same enemies for like 50 times. I mean, I don't mind, but you know, it's not necessarily that useful. Escape. Okay, new city or small town, probably. Village, perhaps? Melmond. Yeah, the earth is decaying, clearly. Cemetery, cemetery, oh. Things are not looking good. Ah. Uh, it's a gravestone. Same thing in everyone. Yeah. Just checking every every possible one in case there's like a secret. Okay. If the earth crystal regains its glow, life will return to the earth the hills and valleys will be will again be green hmm the earth crystal sure restore restore the crystals to grace we'll try i was like is everyone blue haired but no 
three blue haired and one green there. The vampire attacked, destroying our church and leaving our city in shambles. Huh. Is there nothing we can do to stop the ruination of the earth? I wonder if the vampire is a separate enemy or if they are uh, responsible for the earth decay. <clears throat> now, vampire does probably not count as a beast, so... Uh, our current sword, uh, wait, no, uh, where buster would not work on a vampire, but, uh, maybe the rune sword would. So I don't know, vampires don't feel like they'd cast magic. Sometimes blood magic, yeah, but not sure. Stop by my father's shop, okay? Sure thing. This one? No, thank you. This one? Hell yeah. Your father has a good taste. Oh boy, level 5, 4k apiece. Well, we can afford everyone. Uh, restores a lot of HP to one ally. Mm -hmm. Revives 1k old ally. Very good. Deals damage to all undead enemies. Restores HP to the entire party. Okay. Interesting choices. <clears throat> hmm. Well, we have the lesser versions of three of these. We don't have this, so let's at least buy this. Yeah. Then as for the other ones, we have... A Which one of these is the highest or closest one? Uh, magic. Uh, Eel and Diara are both level three. While a cure is only level one. Okay, so I think we'll be getting the Iraga. Now as for the Aga or Hilara. We haven't really encountered any enemies that can maybe one or two that can do AoE damage. So I'm not sure how necessary this is. But we don't have any other AoE. Except the white mage, so I feel like <clears throat> I feel like focusing on this is the correct path. Now, luckily, this game does allow you to forget spells, so if this turns out to be a bad choice, then uh, because our, our previous our Diara already does a decent amount, like 150 to all enemies, roughly, depending on their their defense, obviously. Um. That DR already does a good amount of damage and seems to one-shot enemies. I'm not sure how relevant this is, but it's our only AoE, so I feel like we should prioritize its damage max effect effectiveness. Right? Yeah, that's gonna be my reasoning for buying this over here, Lara. Cool. Now then. We have 13k left. I wonder if we can purchase everything else. Oh, another person. I'm just a farmer. Huh. Clearly not the green haired girl's father. Restore the crystals to grace. Yeah? We talked to you already. Yeah. A dwarf. What's what's is my name? I've come all the way from Durgar to find out the spring hide of the earth's decay. I see. In the cave of on the southern tip of this continent lives a man named Sada. He is a wise man who knows much. Southern tip. Here or here? Probably here. I mean, this whole thing is... Mm, I guess this is its own continent. Not sure. So probably here, but maybe also here. Sure. <clears throat> Rundown building. 
I've heard that the ancients possessed something with the power to make ships float in the sky. Yeah, Levi Levistone. Or so I've, so I've heard. Long ago, a prosperous civilization thrived in the Northland. Now it's fallen into ruin. Ooh. So, when it says... Nope, not that button. Northland, does it mean on this continent or on this continent? Because if on this continent, then we can probably get Levistone around here. But it probably means on these northern lands, you know. <clears throat> maybe our goal is uh, defeat the vampire and or maybe another enemy who causes the earth decay. Visit uh, Sada and then go get Levistone from somewhere around here. Then go back to uh, Durgor to give back the... To give back the... Uh, or uh, to bring the Levistone there. Maybe. I'll... Okay, can't go inside. Ooh. Are you the girl who I... Yeah. Uh, hotel, weapon shop, uh, I mean, sure. <clears throat> Welcome. Hello there. Longsword is an upgrade. Huh. Uh, that's... 20 attack, 10 accuracy. It's only two more. Yeah, and it's lower accuracy, so I don't think we're gonna buy it. it I mean, attack doesn't really matter for uh, Terran that much anyways. <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned. Mm. But we could still... Uh, if, if we have leftover money, we can buy it uh, for the sake of collection. No secrets. It's a gravestone. Sure is. Hmm. <clears throat> sure. The earth is decaying, and it's all the doing of the vampire that lives in the cavern of earth. Hmm, okay. So, probably va the vampire causing this. Our town is in such rotten shape because he is blocking the flow of the power of the earth. The flow of the power of earth, not the earth. Sure. Will you stop him for us? Uh, absolutely. He's got probably some good loot. I'm all for that. The cavern of earth is to the south of Melmond on a peninsula called the Devil's Tail. It used to be the closer you got to that cave, the more fertile the soil. Now, now it's a barren waste. This is the te Devil's Tale, or no, that's the Devil's Tale, definitely. Yeah, it's the uh, imp shape tail. Yeah. Yeah. Cool lore about the world having actual shape as a name. The giant, if the giant living in the cave eats rocks, he'll eat just about any kind of rock. But I hear he especially likes gems. He can't get enough of them. Hmm. There's that old lore about uh, giants loving gems. I wonder if this it, it originated from this game or. Okay, move to the side, please. Yeah. Unne. There is nothing. I, the great genius Dr. Un, do not know. What? You've never heard of me? Inconceivable. <clears throat> yes, indubitably. Mm, yes, yes. The genius of the century or something. Okay, don't cock block me. Thank you. Now I need you to move to the side. Yeah, thank you. Okay, armor shop. <clears throat> Holy 36k! Oh my god. Uh yeah, silver arm, let's Okay, let's buy uh 
few of those and then we'll save 36,000. Holy. Um. Yeah. Nice. We got actually good defense going on now. Cool. <clears throat> well, time to farm up to 36k. <laughs> I guess. Um, how is our HP looking? Fine. Totally dandy. <clears throat> Did I not find... Uh, they're like not a general shop here. That's the inn, that's the weapon, that's the armor. So there's like, not an item shop here. Unless it's, nope. Unless this is a different thing. Yeah, no, unless it's inside the inn. Also, just mouse going there, unlucky. Hmm. Yeah, and you're, no, you're just selling white mage spells. You're selling black mage spells. <clears throat> Maybe this used to be it, but it's not available due to the decay. In which case, yikes. Hmm. Okay, it uh, stagnated, no, no longer a higher price. Same as in Elfheim. Okay. Well, I'm glad we kinda stuck stocked up on uh, potions and antidotes. I hope we don't need much more. So. Let's, uh, I mean, we need to farm for gold, but let's uh, start walking and exploring the map at the same time. First. Oh yeah, bend, 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 and um, sure. Let's do this just in case. Nice. Holy, good defense. <clears throat> Please hit. Good miss. Easy. And a solid 300 gil. So, you know, just 100 of those battles for 30k. Not bad. Although we already have like 8k or... Sorry, 5k. We had 5k. Um, there's that. What is up north? Anything? Nope. Oh, new enemies. Hyenadon. Uh, I should not have done that. Ah, damn it. Uh, you defend, yeah. <clears throat> nice, it missed. Uh oh. Huge, only seven. Okay, we can one, one shot them. That's good, that's good. Nice. Everyone just keep targeting. Saren and we are good. Can we one shot the ogres? Is the real question. Yes. No. Unlucky. Boom. Huge damage from Eden. Okay, that's more like it's 700 gil. The XP is good too, but I'm mostly uh, worried about the gil. Okay, there's a cave here. The vampire... Wait. We can just peek in, right? <laughs> Scary. Uh, quick save. Giant's cave, okay. So this is the secondary objective here. Oh, whoops. Preemptive strike though. <clears throat> yeah, let's first explore the map, then we'll go to the giant's cave, and finally we'll confront the, uh... 
the, 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 the vampire. Interestingly enough, uh, there's something there that uh, appeared on our map now, but we can't get it there via this way. So we'd have to take our boat probably. Maybe there's a dock here that I just can't see or maybe somewhere here. You know, let's see how far we can go on the, the south. Yeah, we can just go. It's connected. Okay, uh, attack Hyena, of course. You can go on Ogre. You can go on a different Ogre. And you can defend. Ah, uh, not quite enough. Um, you go there. You go to that one. You go to that one. Sure. Nice, and finish him off. Nice. Solid work, team. Two level ups and a good amount of gill. Level 20. Some more HP and strength for it. Saren, nice. Ooh, and luck for uh, Eden. Love that. Meaning more crit, I assume? I forget. Um, can we go both ways? Yes. Okay, I see a cave there. <clears throat> Ogre Chief. <laughs> Goodbye, Ogre Chief. Boom, and... Mm. Raiko is lacking in damage. Despite him initially being one of our bet better damage dealers. Let's level up to 20. Lock. Nice. Yeah. Okay, nothing on the very southern tip. And just that cave there, which is the place we will be going last, I assume. I can still peek in there to see uh, if it says, uh, uh, what was it, the Earth Cave or the Cave of Earth or something. Boom. A lot for Raiko. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of stats up. Stat ups. Yeah. Or attributes. I don't know which ones they're called in this game. That's attributes uh, or something else. Yeah, let's just. Uh, damn. So many enemies. Let's just quickly peek inside what's inside the cave and then leave immediately. Let us tackle the giant's cave first. <clears throat> Cavern of Earth, yeah, that's the main place. We'll definitely take our sweet time exploring that area. Hmm. Can't avoid, need to do two rounds of combat. Unless tarantulas are affected by uh, Diara or Dia uh, type spells, but probably not. It's probably listed in, uh, in Beast Theory. I know this is a different one, but uh, resistance none. Okay, but it's a uh, type is also none. Wrench law. Yeah, type none. Not an undead. Doesn't work. Cool. Let's, I guess, just uh, camp out before we head in. <clears throat> I think we can take on the giant's cave without the uh, new best-in-slot uh, armor. 
or Saren. Okay. Um, how is this? Looking? Uh, everything is pretty much max. Okay. Level seven, zero out of one. How did that happen? Oh, I guess we leveled up and uh, we haven't rested since. So yeah, sure. Um, so we don't need to use a uh, cottage. We'll just use a tent. Even that is probably too much, but you know, we have a lot of them. <clears throat> there we go. Then we do a save. That one. Can I just remove this one somehow? No. Fine. It is what it is. Okay, Giant's Cave. Can we see anything about this place? Four chests. 24 in that. Wow, that's gonna be a whole ass pain. Four chests, which we hopefully can get. Giant, is he friendly? Well, only one way to find out. You shall not pass. Okay, I already forgot if we need... Right, he, he, he likes big shiny things like gemstones and such. <clears throat> sure, and uh, the only way we can get those is currently unknown, but I suspect we get them from uh, the cave, cavern of earth, the cave of earth. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Good to know that there is combat inside of this cave. It's not a friendly area. I guess it makes sense. Uh, a giant is just a giant. It kind of looks more like a golem, but whatever. Okay, well, uh, we have nowhere near enough gil for uh, the best in slot, so I guess I guess we go explore. Should we go explore the waters, or should we just try and see what's going on with the with 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 the cavern of Earth <clears throat> right now? Not go up to challenge the vampire itself, but uh, you know. No, let's go at least, let's take our boat and let's check if we can reach the other side of that area. Also, I think, I don't think we can go through there. No, we can probably. Nice, uh, not so nice. At least one shot. Nice, good. Yeah, no pass through that. So around we go. Back in here. <clears throat> I wonder if there's any point in the game where uh, you guys would recommend me to uh, turn off the encounters. I know I said it feels like it's cheating, but you know sometimes it might be beneficial, like out on the open where. These enemies won't give me too much XP, so it might be more beneficial to just, you know, skip the encounters, or not to do the encounters at all. But I don't know, currently I'm still playing very blind, so I have no idea, maybe there is some super monster lurking out in the sea that I haven't yet encountered. Maybe once I've got most of the uh, beast theory entries. We got gazed, we got stunned, or uh, paralyzed. <clears throat> the Hoggins are going down. More gazing. Big eyes do love gazing. Boom, two hondo. Very solid damage. Oh, there is a cave there. Okay. That's probably where uh, Sada lives then. Maybe Sada has the stones. Maybe this was a correct choice then to come here. Instead of fighting uh, 
our way through the uh Heaven of Earth. Cave of Earth. Police crit or doing enough damage. There we go. Okay. Question is how? Uh no. How does one get here? I'm not seeing any landing areas. Huh. Oh, probably through the uh, giant's cave. That's probably it, isn't it? That feels like uh, how it would go. Unless, yeah. And the giant's cave is there. So it probably goes through the mountains and then emerges on the other side or something. Yeah, I'm calling it, that's that's how it is. <clears throat> okay, well, since we are out on the open seas, should we, should we try, since we are kind of still collecting uh, gill, we need a triple to current amount, should we try and see if we can just sail around the world? Like, go do a whole ass round trip. I feel like that could be fun. Or if not fun, at least, uh... It would allow us to see if there are any ports we can dock at. Let's do that. <clears throat> Downwards we go. We have enough potions and, uh... This way we can, uh... Also... Well, I'm not sure if uh, uh, out on the outer skirts we can dock up near any city to restock. But uh, we can eventually go back to uh, what would be the closest Elfheim, probably, to buy more potions. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure which one is uh, closer, Elfheim or Cornelia. Either or. XP her. Okay, let's explore this. Um. Ooh, there's a big. Ho no, this is. Oh, we're only here. Okay. Please one shot all of them. Don't miss. Yeah. There we go. I should figure out how I, how to get uh, more damage on Raiko. Nothing there. Okay, there is a landing port here. On this side, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a uh, faster way to Elfheim. Would it be beneficial for now to dock and uh, to really uh, stock up on supplies? Or should we do that on the way? No, we're gonna do a round trip around the world, so... Let's just supply now. Go buy them supplies. Gimme, gimme. Welcome indeed. Uh, let's go up to... Uh, sure, let's go up to 40 potions. And let's go up to 30. Antidotes. Um, We don't want to spend too much, but let's go up to 20. High potions. Ethers, I think we're good enough on, and the rest we haven't even used once yet. And, uh, yeah. These are, we, four is enough for emergencies, I feel like. Yeah. And if we ever need more money, we can just sell stuff, <laughs> uh, I guess. Cool. <clears throat> 
now we are on our merry way. The if we can dock at any other place on the outer edges of the continents. I I am curious if um like I've heard people say that the uh, Final Fantasy games aren't necessarily uh like really linked to each other. But I'm curious to see if this world map will stay as a thing, like if Elfheim will be a place in other games, or if uh, it will never be mentioned again, can't go there. Um, like, uh, is this the true canon uh, world map, and uh, it will be in further games really, really expanded upon, or... Or if it's just a one-time thing for this game. That will be something... No no need to tell me. Uh, that will be something interesting. I'm looking forward to finding out about that on, uh, by myself. Um, attack big ice. Sure. Let's attack the stronger enemies. Uh, maybe Raikou should have attacked a atta Hagen. Never mind. <clears throat> Raiko did well. Yeah, our attack values, hit values, vary a lot. I guess it is due to uh, and talk there. Um, I guess it is due to uh, whether we crit or not. I would assume. We are just vibing to the music while sailing on the high seas. Uh, yeah, we can use a potion or two on Raikou right now. That feels like a thing we should do. Uh, potion. There we go. And let's save just in case. Why do you default to the 20? I don't like that. It was a mistake to ever click there. <laughs> Can't go through that, sure. Can't go through there. Uh, three rounds of combat, how about no? Okay. Run away. I wonder how we run away on our own ship. Some things are just better left unanswered. Ooh. No, I, I remember this. Uh, I do remember this. Place when we first got through here. Let's uh, let's land here and let's assess the situation. I, I think the uh, one area on the map uh, is like an inn just a bit above us where we can rest. <clears throat> so that's gonna be hype. But yeah, guys, I don't I don't think we're gonna be. Oh, were we not, not able to come here before? No, we were. Yeah, yeah, through there. No, wait. No, it was this area where we were before. Okay, interesting. New area. New area, Pog. Oh my god. Um. Well, we saved recently, so if we die here, it's not my fault. It's definitely my fault. Um, defend. At least he has wear beast or uh, wear something. Huh? Oh my god, they poison us as well. <laughs> They're not one shotable. Oh no, it took our whole team. Um, so very cool. And you, antidote or healing? Uh, uh magic, life. No, ah, uh, Hiraga. Please don't target Raiko anymore. Thanks. Uh, very cool. Oh, that's so much healing. Nice. Okay, I think we can take this battle then. 
and our item antidote on right cool Siren can tank hits yeah 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 Siren is fine <laughs> half his HP is gone but he's fine still has the most HP uh, well no Gl Glitz currently has attack 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 and item antidote there nice damage Whoa, almost a full level. Uh, I don't think we're ready for this area. Item. Antidote. Use. Potion. Use, 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 use. Oh, that, that was a wasted potion. Uh, you two are fine. Okay. Okay, now it was on uh, option one. Um, so that doesn't go anywhere. Can we survive here? I mean, we were able to survive that battle, so maybe this is a good place to level up because we're kind of under leveled for it. I don't want to go. Okay, there's nothing there. Please don't give me those scorpions or any tougher enemies. Oh, great. Hill Gigas. <clears throat> cool. I mean, I don't have much options here. Uh, defend. At least, at least kill one of them. Okay, good. 38, that's doable. Now let's just hope he doesn't get to go again. Huge. And a decent amount of... Oh, that's a lot of gill. Nice. Most characters leveled up. Agility, stamina, good, good, good. Strength for e Eden, very much appreciated. Goes well with his crits. And luck for Glitz. Um. Anything? Oh, there is a town here. Can we get to it without an encounter? Sure, no. Oh, great. Um. Pray. Um, let's preemptively use one potion here for you. Please, at least merc one of them. Please two. No. Okay, we, at, yeah, yeah, we got preemptive strike, so that's good. Uh, magic. <laughs> Protect. <laughs> Probably not going to do too much, but, uh, you know. Good. They keep targeting Saren. That's what we love to see. Cool. Attack, 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 and um, antidote. There we go. That is fine. How much damage would that have done without the protect? And item and uh, potion. Huge. Raikou leveled up. Agility and stamina. Noise. Okay. New city. Present lake. Not sure if I'm supposed to be here yet, but here we are. Kind of skipping ahead. Because the game allows me to. But that's just how open world games go. Not sure if this is really an open world game. I mean, it literally is. We are able to go to the entire world, and there's a whole map of the world, but, you know, it's still a pretty linear experience. HP... I'm sure. Let's go check what the pricing here is. Uh, 200. Ah, fine. Whatever. The inflation goes crazy. Cool, cool. Welcome. Oh, no, 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 that's the same price potion. Um, I'm not really sure if we need anything. Oh, I mean, we can stock back up on those. I don't 
think we'll need much else. Sure. Thank you. Oh, I should have checked uh, way down his list if he had anything else new. I don't think he had, but... Yeah, nothing new. Didn't think so, but it's always good to check. I wonder if there are any uh, map secrets, like if I face towards a specific tree and then click the interact button, if there is anything there happening. You never know. Okay, what's your pricing here, dude? Okay, this is doable. Mithril shield, buckler, mithril helm, and mithril gloves. I will take your entire stock. Well, except mithril mail. So I guess not your entire stock. Equip. Hell yeah. Mithril shield, defense up. And, uh, I guess shields don't have weight. Interesting. These have weight. Three. These weight are, yeah. Cool. And, uh, mithril helm. Weight three, weight five. Yeah. Always wear mithril stuff if possible. Um, cool. Nothing for you. That's so still so weird to me. Ha! Huh. Removing his helm improves his stats. Do we believe it? Except the copper one. Copper copper armlet. Or silver um, armlet. Or, I guess that's just how monks are. <laughs> uh shield. Buckler. Cool, and uh, I can't do anything with you. Yeah. Everything else is worse. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Quick save. I think Saren is locked and loaded. He just needs that one piece of armor that costs, like, our entire life savings. Church. No one is dead, but, you know. Do not lose heart, brave warriors. Yep. <coughs> I think that's what it has said in the every area. It do be a gravestone. My husband is always traveling, and in the little time he is home, he sleeps all day. I think he needs to get his priorities straight. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, anything here? I don't have a lot of money to spend, but... <laughs> Level 6 spells, yeah. 13k a piece, huh? Okay, so in total we have uh, 36k, 26k, uh, 52k. 52 plus 36 is 88. 88,000 gil we need to grab from somewhere. Ooh, ooh, yes, please. This seems highly useful. I should buy this before facing the, uh, the vampire, at the very least. <clears throat> what the shop? Okay, Mithril Sword is better. And Mithril Axe. Attack 25, Accuracy 10. Attack 23, Accuracy 15. Hmm. Again, we don't care that much about the actual attack value. So I think we should go with this one out of these options. You know? Sure. Equip. Wear Buster. Mithril Sword. And we'll, we'll maybe, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go back to these with, uh, if we need specialized weaponry. We'll see what the uh, vampire itself does. Cool. It do be a gravestone. Uh, are these relatives of yours or friends, family? 
Never mind, you're just sleeping here. I expected a tragic story, but uh, real tragedy was... He doesn't care. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool little city, and I, I, I really like the layout of uh, having a little lake or a pond. Probably a lake. I don't know. In the middle of the city. What was the name of this place again? Present Lake, yeah. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, no, it's probably just a river, which, uh, this is the lake itself, and then just a small little river from somewhere, leading into a small pond inside the city. Cool. Well, there's not much else to do here itself. We can't get really here, because we can't get over or through these canals just yet. Sorry, I was interrupted. Uh, ba -ba -ba, what was I about to say? Yeah, unless we can get through this uh, area, I don't know how we get here. Maybe these areas will be available later and we can get through one of these ways. But now, right now my uh, best guess is that we get through here. Or... Yeah, no, there's no... Uh, like, you can probably go through here, to the canal, but uh, we don't have a port here in, in the inland. So, <clears throat> it is what it is. Now the question is... Do we farm here? I think we do. I think we just fight some enemies by the one spell that teleports us out. Then go back. Then go fight uh, the vampire, uh, sorry, continue our journey through the world, then go fight the vampire. Uh, restore peace uh, to the western lands. Then buy uh, the expensive armor. And then come back here to purchase the rest. That seems like a decent idea. Oh my god. Two scorpions. Please get rid of them and you can attack that one since you're high in damage. Okay, good. We can one-shot them. That's huge. And you can use an antidote. Huge. Okay, we didn't get to use the antidote, but whatever. Not that much gill either. Uh, item... Antidote, there we go. I wonder if you get uh, harder encounters when you are in the woods. And as I say that, we get a new enemy. We should kill it first. Because it's only one and two scorpions, so clearly it's stronger than the scorpions, which is very scary. Defend with all your life. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it went down very easily. Maybe it's uh doesn't have much HP, but its attack power is very high or something. I don't know. We guess check uh, the uh, bestiary. 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 Not sure. I think both ways are saying that word is correct. Are correct. <clears throat> Minotaur. Only 22 attack. No, yeah, it's uh... It's magic defense is really high. Uh, beyond that, it's a pretty weak monster overall. When compared that it's next to these enemies here. One enemy we haven't discovered yet around these parts. Or maybe more, but uh, at the very least one here that's that we are still missing. 
Uh, do we need heals? Not yet, really. Oh! <laughs> Maybe soon, if I don't quickly stop the poison. Um, where's my potion? There. That was funny. <clears throat> Yeah. These fuckers. Ooh, nice. We got we got them one shot. Or at least one of them. I do wonder if uh yeah, like I was saying before the uh Minotaur battle, I do wonder if uh there's higher chance of harder enemies if you are a bit further away from a safe town area. Like, if I were to go near those forest trees there. Not sure. Don't know. Don't think I will ever get a chance to know that now. While playing this game blindly. Maybe later. But by that point, it doesn't probably even matter. That's a huge amount of gill. Yeah, please give us... Please give us Hilakigas. Just let, let me fight those. What was it, 13k? Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> okay, one down. Hmm. Attack, attack, attack. And antidote on him. Hmm. Unlucky that we had to waste our uh, strong attack on uh, the almost dead one. Uh, sure, we'll use one potion on you. <clears throat> Wait, you can miss a potion, or was that the enemy's attack? Wait, you can miss a potion? Let me just see. You are. No, you were an antidote. Whoops. I thought I was on potion. That makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Silly me. Damn, that's some good XP. Item. Um. Uh, First antidote, then potion, boom, uh, boom, 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 sure. <clears throat> there we go, uh, we have 9k. Like five more encounters, maybe a bit more. Okay, there's the last one, or assume it's the last one, troll. I think, if, if my knowledge of trolls is correct, if you don't one-shot them, they will heal back up. It's also green. Uh, defend. Or, not one-shot, but if you let them have a turn, they will probably heal back up. Nice. Strength. Unlock. Strength and lock. Blitz getting lots of stuff. Love it. Gil Gigas. Good enemy. Gives lots of gil. There we go. Intellect also going up. Interesting. Uh, let's just quickly own up order. Was the troll the last one we were missing? No. Okay, there's two enemies around here-ish. Maybe there are water enemies that I need to be on boat of, uh, on board of a boat to encounter. Maybe in the woods here. <clears throat> Thank you for giving me two easy opponents, or is easy-ish. They still can hit like a truck, but you know, I can manage these enemies. I don't. Can these enemies even poison me? Probably not. 1700 gil, love it. 
Um, yeah, just one more battle. Against two trolls. <clears throat> well. Nice. Huge. Cool. Let's go by the level, one of the level six spells. That being S A Exit. Oh. Why? Not high enough level? Question mark? But... Huh. Six would be the next one. I wonder why we can't learn it yet then. Because we haven't progressed uh, through the story enough? Question mark? That's probably it. Or either that or we need to be of a certain character level. Both work, both work. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, we can't buy anything from here. We don't need to worry about it then. Hmm. Is there anything else to buy here? Hmm. I mean, yeah, no, I'm not gonna buy this relax. So, nope, not there. And the armor shop is also a no. I think. Yeah, we got everything from here. <clears throat> cool, cool. In that case, let's rest in bed and refill our health and most importantly, mana points. And then uh, let's finish this part off with a trip around the world and uh, I'm not sure if we can, yeah, probably not get up to fighting the, 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 the vampire just yet. Definitely not, not if, uh, if there are other ports we can land at. That's definitely gonna take up the rest of the time. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, huge. Attack, 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 and uh, item antidote on you. If we can even. Yep, no time to use it just yet. <laughs> Good amount of money though. This is a great place for uh, farming. Cool. Save. Quick save also. What was that icon? I haven't noticed that before. <laughs> of course. Yeah, we'll definitely be coming back to that lake town. Uh, present lake uh, area. Oh, damn it. Didn't mean to do that. I just... <laughs> automatically went through my attacks. Or uh, actions, sorry. Yeah, there's two enemies we haven't encountered, but we'll be coming back there to buy level 6 spells later. Potion. Yeah, there, we can definitely go through that. Two rounds of combat, acceptable. I guess it's less that uh, Raikou deals less damage than the others, but maybe the others have just a higher chance to quit and Raikou does normal damage and 
the others do crit damage. Yeah, we can park there, but can't go through there. I think this first area is just a close way to get a fast way to get to a resting area if you're out on the ocean and don't want to go all that way to the Crescent Lake area. Never mind, uh, it's quite far away. Uh, Provoca that is. But we have been able to come here before, right? I mean... It, it, I, okay, there is another area there. Where we can uh, dock our boat. <clears throat> Boom. And another area there. Wait, is this already Provoca? Yeah, this is. We have been here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah this is the pirate area. I don't think there are any ports to the north. A ship can only dock at a port, you know. Huh. So no ports to the north. Or does she mean like the northern area here? Or no ports at all to the north areas? I guess we'll see. <laughs> uh, there's certainly one there, but I guess it's south compared to this area. But, you know. Sure. Do we need to rest? Uh, no, not really. Do we need to stock up on items? No, not really. Cool. Uh, let me just re-listen to what this old wizard has to say. I fled here from Melmond, a town far to the west. Ooh, yeah. It is a truly pitiable sight. The earth rots and monsters attack in the night. Is there nothing you can do to help? In fact, I have already been there. Someone please remind me to come back to this guy after we uh, save Melmond. I'll actually write it down on, uh, on a notepad, notepad and uh, do it myself. Hopefully. But uh, it, it doesn't hurt if anyone reminds me. Maybe he'll have a new voice line. <clears throat> Huge damage, huge damage. Okay, and um, we definitely cannot get through that map. Yeah, can't get through those mountains at all. That area remains unreachable. As far as I know. So far. Later on, maybe. Through some trickery or... Maybe a spell that lets me ride over, uh, fly over mountains or something. We'll see. Uh, cool. Let's get back to our boat. Maybe one or two encounters on the way back. Doable. <clears throat> I really need a new chair. Not only does this squeak, but it's also bad for my uh, ass. That's two rounds of combat, right? Um, if I attack like that one with you and hopefully one-shot it. Yeah, good. to boot. Let us continue our journey of sailing around the world. Uh, no, I don't want this. I don't want 
three rounds of combat. <clears throat> Oh, right, Eden can now block with our, with the shield, because he has a shield. <laughs> Take one of the uh, Sahagin chiefs out as we escape. That was funny. Yeah, we are on our way to the northern continents. Oh, I'm still on flea mode. Oops. Whoopsies, whoopsies. <laughs> Attack and run away, possibly. Yeah. Didn't necessarily mean to do that. Okay. Yeah. So we can go. Should we. How should we do this? We do like this loop here and check back and then come through here, check this and this and this. Or. Should we go like this? Hmm. I don't think it matters too much. Oh. <laughs> Damn you, Buccaneers. And defend. <clears throat> Let's first check the outer edge. I I'm really curious about that. Uh, that crescent circle landmass. Top right. Maybe it's nothing, maybe it's something. So, no, not that one. I can't see it from here quite yet. <clears throat> These Hoggins are endless. One other thing I'm curious about is uh, if these monsters are uh, appear in future games like uh, obviously a giant or a troll or whatever is pretty uh, common but I don't think I've ever heard of Sahagins before because it's just you know Ooh, there is a city there okay <clears throat> that's Three rounds of com... No, that's... Two rounds of combat. Assuming we hit well. Yeah. Good. There we go. Always observe the combat system and, uh... Sometimes... You can get through things fast. There we go. Don't need healing just quite yet. Wetlands or marshlands and woods. Okay. Um, maybe I should have defended with our uh, glitz. Whatever. Whatever. It's not too big of a deal. It's just that Glitch will not one-shot any of these, so, you know, kinda of pointless to attack with him. I guess if combo comboed with Raikou, yeah, that can work. That can definitely work. <coughs> Boom. Let's do a quick save here, just in case. Items, potion, you, no one else. Okay, let me just... Status. Um, so, your accuracy is lower. Your luck is only one lower. Your strength is lower. But the same as him. But, uh... You know, Eden's luck is much higher, and accuracy is much higher. I guess you do have the lowest accuracy and the lowest uh, luck of the attackers, so... Yeah. 
and the, the lowest agility. Hmm. But not the lowest intellect, though. Nor stamina. Okay. Yeah, you have the lowest strength and attack. I'm gonna go soon to the right. I'm just... I was just checking... Uh, just checking if there was any forts here. <clears throat> But I think I'm starting to believe that damn it oh let's I, I think I'm starting to believe uh, what the townsperson said that there are no ports in the northern lands. Interesting. Yeah, that's the desert area. And you attack Please one-shot it. Let's do your best. Please crit or something, I don't know. Huge. Okay, we are golden. Another town. Interesting. I can't get there. Okay, let's go check out what's on the right. You know. No thank you. Even with if we hit and one shot everything, that's still three rounds of combat. Can we flee? Thank you. Interesting. Oh. at the enemy huge they're focusing on Vico a lot I wonder if that's just uh, the luck of the draw or okay well there's nothing ah, I see so it does loop so now we are on the far left yeah, I was wondering that was a bit weird, but sure. Okay. Okay. This is kind of sideways, but it kind of reminds me of Florida. Okay. Good to know. Different here. With good planning, that could have been a, a one-round encounter, but it is what it is. Wait, does this mean that... Uh, does this mean that uh, if I go up, I go to the bottom of the map and I could have gone <laughs> to the top of the map that way way easier? At least it's looping sideways. Yeah, now I'm at the bottom of the map. Okay, good to know. Around the world, the world is actually... There's no ice caps. There's no North or South Pole in this world. That means that I can go quickly from uh, right to left, uh, yeah, on the lower half too, which is good. <clears throat> Huge. 
not so huge. <laughs> Although, hmm, 338, that's big damage. Okay, okay. We take those. Also, I noticed I should have been protecting with a blitz, but I wasn't. There we go. Fent with glitz. Huge crit. Ah, uh, nope. Escape. Escape if you can. Give it your best shot. The Huggins are really not doing any damage. We should probably heal Raikou also. There's a hole there, interestingly. And it's just that kind of... Yeah, we're definitely getting a spell that can allow us to go on land or walk on water or something. Build a bridge out of nothingness. I'm just gonna flee this encounter. Or there's a, another hole that goes through the ocean floor somehow and that's how uh, it will allow us to get to that area although I don't know what for we would want to get on that tiny piece of island land mass uh, whatever I'm just gonna keep fleeing they don't give me much XP at all it's gonna be much faster like this and I don't wanna I mean it would extend the video length, but only artificially, because, you know, it's only simple encounters of the same enemies over and over again. The only advantage would be that I would be getting more gold, but that even that is, like, very minimal. <clears throat> oh, I'm stupid. We're not gonna learn a spell that allows us to build bridges or uh, walk on water. We're, we're gonna get Levy Stone. <laughs> That's definitely what it's, what it's gonna be. Yeah. I don't know how that didn't come to my mind immediately, but you know. Sometimes you just don't think with all the info you have available. <clears throat> Interesting. Cool. Um, ambush. Yeah. Gaze. Uh oh. Yeah, the gazing can be can be bad because they can paralyze us, so we can't flee. Never mind. We're able to. Uh, how do we want to do this? Uh, we still haven't explored these areas, but I'm getting more and more convinced that uh, there's nothing here. Still. Might as well. If we're just gonna flee every encounter, it's gonna be faster. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely be healing Raikou now. If we ever encounter some super rare boss monster on the sea, uh... No, don't sort. It's better to have him at full capacity. There we go, don't need to heal anyone else. Yeah, there's a village there, or a town, or something. Boom. Escaped. Nothing here. Nothing there as far as I can see. Only two enemies, but it's faster to press the... Or spam the flea button. Or hold. That input. Rather than change it to attack, even though there was only one round of combat. I wonder why there was a delay there. 
Maybe the enemy can cast defend, uh, defend as well. That's why it took a while instead of in instantly fleeing. Maybe. Not sure, not sure. However, we managed to escape. <clears throat> a goodbye, Sahagins. You have served as good fodder for the past six and a half videos. Well, no, five and a half, because in the first video we didn't get to the seas. To the high seas. Nothing here, maybe. Successfully escaped. Interesting. That goes so deep. I wonder if there's any meaning or if that's just a, a world design, world building detail. <clears throat> and we can't go down this stream. Yeah, thought so. I'm gonna name this video something so stupidly gener generic, I, I just know it's something like around the world or something. It's gonna suck. Okay. That's a big spooky castle. I wonder if that's the final boss then. Probably not. There's probably some cool artifact there. Uh, let's sail around these islands first. Okay, there's another hole there. I am curious about the holes. The northern holes. There's a hole on every island. Huh. Yeah, five holes in total. That's way more than you need. <clears throat> I say, as I'm jealous, holeless. Cool, okay, um... Underside inland here. Doubt there's anything there, but you know, let's at, at least check it. Just to be safe. Wouldn't want to miss anything. <clears throat> there we go, there we go. Escape. Yeah. I don't know at what point, but definitely at some point we'll go through the uh, through every entry in the beast area as well. And uh, if there's any lore, we'll definitely read them too. I, I definitely want to immerse myself into this world's lore as best as I can. That do be my style. Nothing there. Goodbye, Sahagin friends. A whole nine enemies. I wonder if nine is the max. Or if there can be like 12 because we have four rows, uh, but the enemies so far have only had three. So not sure, not really sure. Since we are using flea, we could technically just turn off encounters, but I feel like that's kind of cheating. We should take the minimal amount of damage we are taking. I feel that's only fair. Preemptive strike, more like preemptive goodbye. Damn it. <clears throat> Escaped. 
Ah, uh, and because we're gonna write, right, I just now fully connected it because we are eventually gonna get Levi Stone. We don't necessarily need to go through the um, giant's cave to get to the very west end uh, to see Sada, uh, supposedly, assumedly. We can just probably get in, get some Levi Stone and uh, fly there or something. I wonder if we using Levi Stone. I, I I'm just assuming it's we can use that on the overworld map. Huh. Nice little inlet here. Um, I'm just assuming we can use Levi Stone on the over overworld map. I do wonder if that allows us to avoid most encounters or if there's new encounters like uh, avian monsters, birds, big bird monsters, or something. Cool. Let's still uh, check the uh, top side of the southern continents. Yeah, there's definitely uh, there. Yeah, we can we can go rest in a rest in Provoca real quick. Feels so good to be on land again and an encounter. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm eventually gonna go back to doing the encounters. But the in calls. Only 50 gil. Oh my god, you're a lifesaver. You are a lifesaver. And I like your bow tie. Very pretty. It's also pink and your her hair was blue. Those are my two favorite colors, so you know. Great choice. Okay, back to the boat and back to uh, finishing up our uh, tour around the world. Just gonna hover over and uh, check if there are any other ports I can land on. <clears throat> Probably not. Uh, sorry, I was almost interrupted. Actually, I need to take this call for just a moment. Okay, that was a rather fast phone call. Uh, I was able to take it while we were fleeing. Nothing here so far. Have we ever been on this patch? I think we have, yeah. Can't go there. Hello, Matthias Cave. Cavern? Cave? I don't, I don't know. Not sure. Escaped, though. Very good. Nothing here. <clears throat> Goodbye, Shark and Sahagin chief friends. We shall meet again later. Yeah, that area will definitely be going back there at some point when we can. Did I already try, um... Equipping the rune sword while touching the orb inside a uh, chaos shrine or chaos temple, whatever. I probably did. That sounds something like I would do if I had the rune sword av available back then. Ooh. 
by the Buccaneers. I, I said goodbye. Thank you. And we are about to be done with our long ass tour. At least we got to see what the uh, um, areas kind of look like on the overworld map. Not fully because we can't see all the way to the inland. But we have a bit of an idea. Like at least now we know that there are holes in those islands, for example. We know that there are at least two or three cities on the northern continents. And one spooky castle. And one tower, which we can already see in the map or overworld map. And we know that the map loops. So it's not like this was for nothing. But it kind of was for nothing. <laughs> Okay, let's dock our ship the closest possible place, have a good night's rest, and uh, go challenge the vampire in the earth, in earth cave next time. <coughs> the earth cavern, I wanna say. Goodbye, Sahagins. I will not be missing you. I wonder if there's a... Like, I, I assume eventually we are... The Final Fantasy games are eventually gonna move away from uh, this RPG Maker style thing with the... Uh, uh, very much an overworld map and uh, stuff like that. So I wonder if the, we are also gonna get rid of uh, sailing. Or if we can actually just sail boats in future games as well, when they get uh, more advanced. Or if the games are gonna be like, uh, you can go on a boat, but it's just a uh, select a destination and then it uh, fades to black and takes you to that location. Cool. Um. God damn it. <laughs> okay, let's go rest in Melman's beautiful hotel. And this is where, where we will be calling it for today. I'm sorry that this was kind of a nothing burger of a video. I mean, we did, we did, we did something. We did find uh, the Crescent Moon Lake and uh, visited that area, learned that there was nothing there, fought and uh, we leveled up a bunch. And we also toured around the world, learned a bit about the areas and learned of those holes there. Learned about the map, but yeah, didn't really progress the story at all, which is, uh, uh, we probably should have done that instead. But it is what it is. Four chests in the drains cave, can't access that yet. Oh, is the, um, is it hovering in two spots? So it is, yeah, it's connected to that one, so giant's cave will take us to there and, uh, to Sada's place. So maybe uh, Sada is where we will get our Levy Stone. Or maybe Levy Stone is something we get from here and the giant also likes it, not sure. <laughs> Sad, zero chests in Melmond. It's been definitely destroyed. Yeah. Hey, our shrine. Yeah, need to get back there eventually. Okay, let's do a bit of quick saving and saving there. Cool. Um, yeah, next time we'll finally progress the story. Hopefully take down the vampire and purchase um, 
the big armor thing here. We're a good, good way into gathering the required money. And then uh, hopefully eventually we can unlock the uh, level 6 spell requirement to be able to purchase from uh, the uh, present moon lake area city town thing. Cool. And we also need to bring it back to Druerga, uh, the uh, dwarf cave city. Probably. And then also find adamantite uh, stuff. Yeah, because adamantite itself, so uh, Smithy can forge it for us. Still rocking the iron on Chekus. Maybe that's the reason why. He doesn't do much damage. He hasn't upgraded a weapon in a hot minute. <laughs> okay, um, Patreon, early access, up to two weeks. Link down in the description. Cool. See ya.